Okay, so we've got, what is the ratio? We'll just start with A anyway. What's the ratio of shaded squares to non-shaded squares? So, right, so we're simply just gonna count them. And when I count the shaded squares, I have one, two, three, four, five, and then another five, one, two, three, four, five, then another five, one, two, three, four, five. So that's 15, right? And then three, that's 18 shaded, isn't it? And the non-shaded, I've got two here, but I've got fives. I've got this five, this five, this five, this five. I've got 20. I've got five row, columns of five, and that's 25. And then I've got another two, that's 27. The ratio of shaded to non-shaded, I'm thinking is 18 to 27, isn't it? Yes. But we've got to put that in lowest terms. So, so what I'm getting is 18 uh to 27 you get that yes and then if you put that as a fraction 18 over 27 and reduce it what do you get two thirds right so so as a fraction you go 18 over 27 and you, you put that in lowest terms and 9 into 18 goes twice Nine into 27 goes three times. So two thirds is the answer. And that can be written two to three. Got that? Yes. Two to three. So great. So that's, that's a good job. That's a good job there, right? All right. So what is the ratio of shaded squares to total squares? So how many shaded squares do we have? 18. 18 shaded squares. How many total squares though? 45. Nice, because it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine columns, and in each column there's five, uh, there's five squares. So nine times five is forty-five. Or you could count the rows. We got one row, two rows, three rows, four rows, five rows, and in each row there's nine. So five times nine is forty-five. Either way, you should figure out that there are forty-five total squares. So shaded to total means eighteen shaded to 45 total. Put that as a fraction, 18 over 45. Simplify that fraction, what do you get? Two fifths. Good job. Nine into eight, nine goes into 18 and 25. Nine into 18 goes two times. Nine into 45 goes five times. So we get two fifths. And so that two over five is just the ratio two to two. five. Two to five, right? You have that? Yes. Last one. What is the ratio of non-shaded squares to total squares? How many? 27 to 45. Lovely. 27 to 45. We've got 27 non-shaded squares. We counted them already. We've got 45 total squares. So it's 27 to 45. As a fraction, now 27 over 45. Simplify that. Well, that's the trouble because 45, five goes into 45, nine uh, times. How about nine? Do nine into both though. See, five goes into 45, but five does not go into 27. The trick with cross canceling is you got to find a number that goes into both. What number goes into 27 and also into 45? Nine. Nine, good. So nine into 27? Three fifths. Three times, good. Nine into 45, five times. So we get three over five. And as a ratio, that can be written three to five. What does that mean, by the way? What does it mean to say that the ratio of non-shaded squares to total squares is three to five? What does that mean? I have three three, a ratio of three shaded squares to every five non-shaded squares? Every five total squares. Total squares. Yeah. It's three, when you do shaded to non-shaded, it's three, it's a... Uh, oh. Yeah, okay. yes. Yeah, so, so shaded to non-shaded is two shaded for every three non-shaded. There's two orange for every three white, right? Mm-hmm. But then we get to the, the part B. What is the ratio of shaded squares to total squares? There are two shaded squares for, for, for every five total squares, right? 
And then part C was the ratio of non-shaded squares to total squares. There are three non-shaded squares for every five total squares. Or you could say there's three white squares for every five total squares, right? Okay. So we nailed that one, I think. Great stuff.